Welcome back. President Trump defending himself against allegations of obstruction of justice from Judge Andrew Napolitano, the judge questioning the president's action. Before and after the Mueller report released, the president wrote in a pair of tweets over the weekend about Judge Napolitano, saying this, Thank you to brilliant and highly respected attorney Alan Dershowitz for destroying the very dumb legal argument of Judge Andrew Napolitano. Ever since Andrew came to my office to ask that I appoint him to the U.S. Supreme Court, and I said no, he has been very hostile. Also asked for a pardon for his friend, a good pal of low-rating Shepard Smith. Joining us right now is Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano to respond to all of this. Judge, good to see you this morning. Good morning. Good morning. And then, this is the way you treat your friends. How do you treat your enemies? Oh, boy. So, so what happened? Did, did you ask him to put you on the Supreme Court? No. Did you ask he, him to pardon a friend? He, he and I uh, spoke for about three hours in two 90-minute uh, me meetings. This is when he was the president-elect about the type of person that should replace Justice Scalia. And in the process of my describing that person, and the person I was describing was then-Judge Neil Gorsuch, he looked to me and said, sounds like you're describing yourself. I said, no, no, I'm not describing myself. I'm describing Neil Gorsuch because you have this list of uh, people from which you want to choose. And Judge Gorsuch is the person that I think most of your advisors are going to point to. This was early on in the process. So he said, all right, give me a, give me a spiel as to why I should put you on. Now, who would turn that down? I gave him the spiel, so to speak. And somebody else in the room said, you know, that's pretty interesting. But the judge is a little long in the tooth, to which the president said, blank you to the person who said the judge is long in the tooth. I'm four years older than the judge, and I'm about to become president. It was that kind of, uh, of a conversation. So, and listen, I thought, know, I thought the president... You don't expect the president... You don't expect the president to reveal it all, but that seems like that's what he's doing, even with this pardon situation as well. Yeah, you know, the, the pardon that he and I discussed is of a mutual friend of his and mine, and he asked me to tell me what the person was convicted of, and if I thought the conviction was just. I described what the person was convicted of. I described that it was just. The president used a very strong term to condemn the conviction. And he said, you know this person as well as I do. Call this person up and tell him, yeah. tell this person he's going, to be, uh, he's going to be on the list of pardons that I will uh, seriously consider. That was the extent of that conversation. Look, I thought the president's Judge. comments were yeah. brilliant. He wanted to divert attention from what Mueller had said about him and what I had had commented about Mueller to his relationship mm. with me. His relationship with me is not the story. He and I have been friends for 30 years and probably will be for the next 30 years. So let me ask you about the Mueller, the Mueller story because Attorney General now William Barr seems to be threatening that he's going to skip this hearing on the Justice Department's handling of the Russia investigation if lawmakers go through with a plan to let staff lawyers question him. Democrats are threatening a subpoena if Barr does not appear. But, you know, he's going willingly. He doesn't, he doesn't have to go. And now they're saying that they're not even going to be there. They're going to have staff question him. What do you think? Well, I think they would be there, but I, it would be kind of demeaning to have staff questioning the attorney general. So there's two arguments here. One is this is the Congress's hearing, and he can't tell them how to run it. Uh, the other is it's highly unusual and even improper to have persons other than elected public officials in, uh, interrogating the attorney general. Prediction? They'll work something out. The interest in this testimony is so great, they will find a way to make it happen, and we'll be watching on Thursday. Yeah. All right, Judge, thank you so much. Judge Pleasure. Andrew Napolitano, great to see you, sir.